everyone, Beth here with Ameritex Movers and I got my little sidekick bunny sitting right next to me too. We actually just made it back into the car from the post office and while I was in there I was thinking to myself, there are so many things you have to juggle while you're planning your move, including changing your address. So today we are going to talk about our ultimate moving checklist and the things you need to know before your move. Thanks again for joining us for another episode of Monday Moving Minute. first, at least a month or two months before your move, or as soon as you know, coordinate your movers. Your movers will get filled up pretty quickly if you're wanting to move in the summertime, or if you're wanting some sort of prime time, like a weekend time slot or a morning time slot. It's really important to know what the terms of your contract are. Do you need to give a 30 day notice or a 60 day notice? So plan ahead and make sure that you give the appropriate notice to your apartment community. One of the things that constantly slip renters' minds is giving your apartment community a forwarding address. Remember that deposit that you left at the beginning of your contract? Well, how are they going to know where to send it to if you haven't given them a forwarding address? Now, you're also going to want to notify the post office at least a month before your move. Usually, a change of address takes anywhere from four to six weeks, and so to avoid any type of delays in your mail, make sure you do that ahead of time, too. transfer your utilities. You get your cable, your water, your phone, and doing that ahead of time definitely avoids any type of interruptions. So about two weeks before your move is when things start to spiral out of control and this is when you need to take control and make sure that you have that checklist in order to be able to help you out. Now, one thing that you need to think about a couple of weeks ahead of your move is reaching out to the apartments that you're either moving from or to and finding out what their requirements are for elevator reservations or even parking reservations. Also take into consideration long walks for your move. How far is the distance from where the truck will have to park to where your units are located? Now about two weeks before your move, you can go ahead and start packing and start packing the things that you don't need access to until after your move, such as books or seasonal clothing or even like decorative pieces. Moving can be an adventure, especially if you're moving to a new part of town. So get out there and explore and find the places that you're going to have to have access to, like your vet or your hairstylist or even your doctor. Now about a week before your move, make sure you reach out to your movers and ask them any last minute questions that you have in order to pack and prepare for your move. Also ask them as far as their schedule is concerned when they should arrive so you can make arrangements for moving day two. totally makes things stress-free is hiring a cleaning crew to come in and help you clean up after you've moved out. This is definitely a way for you to make sure that you get your deposit back. Now whenever you move into a new place, make sure that you do a complete walkthrough and you inspect everything, even down to the smallest thing like a light bulb. Make sure you check it out and you communicate it directly to management if there's any issues that you need to consider. Now leading up to move day, the more prepared and organized you are, the easier things will go. Do things like color code your move. Make sure you watch my other video to see how to exactly do that. But little things like that will help eliminate a lot of the supervision that you're going to have to give the movers because it's silent communication. On move day, there's so many things that you have to juggle that trying to figure out what's inside of what box is the last thing that you're going to want to do once you've moved in. So take the time to label the boxes clearly and that way once you're in, you can go ahead and unpack the important boxes first. Now a day or two before your move, you're going to need to make sure that you do some prepping. If you have appliances, make sure you defrost the freezer or if you have any type of washers and dryers, make sure everything is removed out of them. Or if you're moving from a house and you have any type of yard tools or lawn equipment that have fuel inside of them, remember to remove the fuel as well. 
Hiring the pros definitely does have its perks. They have all the equipment that you're gonna need, like furniture pads or dollies, even the truck. They're gonna have the labor, and on top of that, they're gonna have the experience to know exactly how to move your things. Now, the only thing that you're gonna need to know is make sure that you're organized ahead of time so when the pros do come, it's a breeze. text we can help you do it all whether it's packing moving unpacking or even giving you tips on how to organize yourself our moving experts are available to help you seven days a week so feel free to reach out to us even if you just want to ask us questions we love moving so much and love to help you make your next move stress-free I hope our moving checklist definitely helps guide you through your next move. If you liked our video today, please remember to subscribe. Otherwise, like and share this video with your friends. Thanks again for joining us.